A news update for tonight. License plate readers are officially coming to Springfield and the City Council unanimously approved that decision tonight. WCI 3's Cole Hankey joins us live from our Springfield newsroom this evening. So Cole, there were some concerns about this program before the vote even took place. Yeah, that's right. Some of the aldermen were concerned about the price tag for these license plate readers, as well as just the growing bill for the police department that's been growing over the past couple of years. But after Springfield Police Chief Kenny Winslow laid out exactly how these license plate readers would help the police department, they all hopped on board. Springfield Police Chief Kenny Winslow wants the city to embrace technology. It's why he came to city council for yet another big ask. Money for license plate readers. It's a no-brainer to go with the technology. You have to embrace the technology. And city council is embracing it. Members approved the readers for intersections across town. The total bill will be just over $200,000 per year for two years. That, paired with the city's shot spotter contract, comes out to $400,000 per year for these tools for the police department. Yeah, it works, you know, and when you tie all these technologies together, you got to show how they interwork, to get, how they interrelate and they work together. And that's what we see with LPRs. We see shot spotter as an augmenter to 911. It's not meant to replace call 911. It's only in less than a tenth of our community. Some of the aldermen were skeptical of the price tag. Others about if whether this technology could invade people's privacy. But they all eventually voted yes. Um, um, but, you know, when we're saving lives and things like that, I, I can't consider costs when we're saving lives, when we're getting to people and we're, we're reducing crime. Winslow's department is down dozens of officers. He views the technology as a way to compensate for at least a bit of that gap. After right now, we're robbing Peter to pay Paul just to maintain basic services and to continue to provide a good quality service for the community. This is a force multiplier. Now, the cameras are expected to be installed by February of next year, and where those cameras will be placed will be decided using crime data from the Springfield Police Department. They're hoping to put these in areas where there are a need for them, where there is a lot of crime in the city. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Cole, thanks so much. Rand Tool Indicator already have license plate readers in place. The city of Champaign, U of I Police, and the Champaign County Sheriff's Office have been looking to add them. Urbana voted them down just last month.